everybody, it's me, Wilma Fingerdew, and as you can see, she didn't die. Wilhelmina Boxfarts has returned to the small screen, and as you all know, this is my drag daughter, Wilhelmina, and she had open heart surgery uh, to prove she has a heart, and... It's very small, it's like a little tiny walnut. Yeah, yeah, they almost threw her away, and then somebody went, what's that? And it's like, oh, all right, she has a heart. <laughs> so, they kept her. And you've heard me talk about my illegitimate drag daughter. Well, now she's legitimate. Here is Magnolia Sugarbush. Hello. Nice to meet you. Ugh. Tramps, the two of them. I don't know how I made it this this long through life without having children and now two. So nice to be here. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, too. Now, you, this is your first time doing a YouTube RuPaul review of any kind. Yep, for sure. And you're a huge fan. I'm a massive fan. And your husband, an Luis, season. is a, a huge fan as yes, well. Yeah, probably a bigger fan mm -hmm. than actually, for being really? honest. Yes. Oh, was that right? Yes. Mm. Huge and selfish. Never sent me a fan letter. Yeah. <laughs> So I need to thank a couple of people. The first person I want to thank is a tipper do Vito Bocuzzi, again with his almost Yay. weekly tip. I love you, Vito. Vito, yeah. spread that love around. Yeah, yeah. Love and my other tipper do this week, Yeshwant Yera Milli, a.k.a. Yes, Bina, <laughs> Bina Lisa on the tubes. Uh, first time tipper do. Thank you so much, doll. Also this week, we have a red bubble model. It is Black Canary Fan in a Lar de Souza. Seriously, Wilma T. I love this tea. We are all sporting fabulous yeah. teas. Um, Lar de Souza. Denise, Denise Journeau, Denise Journeau, 50 foot Wilma. I look so petite next to this Wilma. Well, that's one of my favorite ones, the Spider Do. Me too. I'm a big fan of Spider Woman too. So, or Kiss of the Spider Woman. Kiss of the Spider Woman, yeah. yeah. And then just to draw attention to the bazooms, is that why you like that one? Well, you know, the bazooms aren't going to draw attention to themselves. No, they They're are not. not. Plus, I've also got some new Patreoners to welcome to the Fingerdew family. Justin Melanson and Bryce. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We do two live hey. chats a month there, plus my weekly watches. And uh, if I'm on top of things, uh, early Patreoner Queen's edit of all of my reviews. There hasn't been one this week because I was behind. Just saying. <laughs> so, there. That's all my business. Now it's on to uh, a brighter and uh, more sparkly things, which is uh, Drag Race All Star Six, the finale. Yes. Yeah. First of all, what did we all think of All Star Six? I really liked it. I liked the whole season. For me, it uh, it was well produced. It clipped along very well, and I was, to be fair, maybe getting a little drag raced out. Yeah. Uh, but it kind of gave me a little jolt again, and the. In, in, in the battery pack yeah i find often true. on all stars i the people that i loved on their season i despise on all stars and the people i didn't care for on their season just sparkle on, on. so yeah. i think i think the ones that do yeah. need a second chance get a second chance and the yeah. ones who were a little too overconfident just sort of stay that way and don't yeah. realize mm -hmm. you need to grow as well mm -hmm. yeah. who is your your who are you most excited to see coming into this when the cast was announced I'm always a Ginger Minch fan. Yeah, I was too. I was on board with Ginger. I thought it was her season to take, and yeah. I was very excited. Yeah. And then Scarlet Envy. Yeah. I really liked Scarlet. Like on Scarlet's season, she kind of came out of the gate a little, not antagonistic, but stuck up and self. You know, she was mm. the one who was always looking in the mirror. She had an air of something. She about. definitely, mm. her poop did not stink, or at least if it stink, it she didn't, didn't stink even poop. like poop. She just no. tiny she little... Did. Little tiny bundles little she'd bundles. leave in the corner. Yeah, That's for you. The poopery. Yeah. Yeah. I was also excited to see. I was also excited to see Eureka. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love you know, yeah. And I, I really fell in love with Eureka on the other show that she is a part of. Yeah, yeah we're here. Yeah. Um. So I was really excited to see because I think she always looks fantastic. Uh, I think she really gives a hundred percent. Um. Yeah. So yeah, I was kind of glad to see her and. I thought she did very well. Was there anybody that you uh, you were surprised to see do an all star? Cha cha, yeah, just Cha-Cha. Cha -Cha. I still yeah. don't remember who she is. Yeah. Pandora, kind of. I was not. I was excited that she was coming back because she was season two. Yeah, and she had a great run that season. But she, even then, I remember Rue Paul saying how funny Pandora is, and yet I kept waiting for her to be funny on season two, and then. Season two, she was just mad that they were in teams. Well, no, that was that was All was Stars that, one. That was one. All speaking. Stars one. She was on the first. And then she came back on. The... Well, and she was teamed up with uh, Mimi on first, mm -hmm. and I understand. Like there was not one reaction or emotion she felt dealing 
with being on a team with Mimi that I didn't under, I didn't have problems understanding. I got it. It's like, yeah, no yeah. one wants to be on a team with Mimi. She's Mimi. But still, it was such a disappointment for somebody that a lot of people like. And then it's been nine years, eight years since she's been on Drag Race. And, and to kind of just be that same person, that one walk in, her entrance outfit with the cape, stunning like yeah. so immediately it was like all oh, right she's up to fashion game but there was nothing about her game game that she worked on she uh she hadn't um she's a shy quiet introverted yeah, person yeah. and she like still was she didn't have the kill no yeah i mean but, but like she wasn't sure yeah. she was supposed to be there yeah. in the first place. like it's one but thing super sweet yeah, but lovely. Yeah, yeah. but just and, all kind of self defeated. She was making all the jokes about how old she was. So, yeah. I mean, you don't hear Wilma going on and on about how decrepit yeah, she is and what a monster she is and you know, crypt keeper. Like you don't. I mean, leg. it's yeah. all very true. The wooden yeah. leg, but you just don't hear her going on and on and on about it. <laughs> why do I? Why should I go on and on about it when you're always going on and on about it? <laughs> But you know who I was curious about when it was announced was Silky. Yeah. Because her season. Okay. You know. Let me get my eyes. Oh, oh they, they just roll up at any time. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, they're back. Are you there? Oh. I'm there. I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, she was a very strong presence yeah. on her season, and yeah. she she went top four, right? Yep. Yeah. She was she was in the finale. Yes. Yeah. And so I was kind of curious to see what she was going to be like and how she kind of viewed herself after it was done yeah. and if she was if she would edit or if she I don't think do she more. liked what she saw because she edited herself i thought she edited herself down yeah too small. Too small. she yeah. really she was funny. cowed by her first uh appearance being like all of the critiques of her was mm -hmm. larger than life scene stealer took the air out of the room no one got a chance there's got to be a happy medium and i think that Silky got that happy medium oh. with the game within a game. Please, she I think she's going to get an Emmy for that game she within a game. That. That was like, and you know, game. I've heard all of the judgment. A lot of people said, "Well, her costumes were rough," and well, she didn't were... know the words all the time. And... She didn't know the words half the time. <laughs> but it was, but she really did. A, so entertaining to but watch. How many times do you go to a drag show and someone doesn't always know the words? The only thing that worked against her was the fact that we saw all of those in a row. In a row, yeah. You're like. There's another reveal. There's yeah. another reveal. Which, if you saw them as individuals, you're like, ah, fantastic. So yeah. I think that took a, a little bit of it away from me. Mm. But also, it also made me fall in love with Silky because I was, yeah. I was not a huge fan. Oh my I, God, I, I got a yeah. passion. Like, yeah. I, 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 total kudos. But I was really rooting. I thought Rue would bring both of them back, Eureka. I'm so glad that Silky. she didn't. And then oh. do another four weeks of All Stars. No. No, I I can't I can't I can't. Yeah, it was it was fun to. At one point, I thought I thought Jen was going to come back in until that guitar showed up again. Again, my, a prop. My favorite line of the whole season was Jan, Jan, she's a man. So, so funny, <laughs> so funny. I really and her face couch. though. She's like smiling. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jan. Jan, Jan. I said, Jan. what did you say? No, there's <laughs> someone who, my opinion. From their season to All Stars, because there wasn't really a gap. No, that uh, didn't really change. No, at all. no. I thought that Jen, it was a wasted opportunity for her to be the bigger, more Don't come right mature now. person to say, "No, Mama needs some time to percolate." Yeah. But she was really like when you heard her talk, she was always saying, "Well, I missed the, I missed touring. I didn't get to tour. I didn't get to meet the fans because face to face." Yeah. There's a lot of like. What did I didn't get by being on the season? It's like, well, I think that you're lucky that you didn't have to go and see people in public because you were a bit of a pill, no offense. And then she came back and she kept saying, you know, how, how much she'd learned from things. But even while she's saying how much she learned, oh, that season that I watched myself on TV, I felt that I <laughs> was like, shut up. Oh, my God. I know. Am I wrong? Or was Alexis Mateo one of the... One of the, the lip, lip sync assassins yeah. this year, oh, yes. I, I just, I've got two lip syncs, bitch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. New lip syncs. New lip syncs. Yeah. as well. Yeah, she did a great job. Who was your favorite lip sync assassin? Who were you most uh, surprised at? Alexis. Yeah. I love Alexis. She's you know, fantastic. You know who it was for me? Because I don't like her. At least I didn't like her on her season. That could uh, be anyone. Laganja Estranja. Laganja was fan. Fantastic. She was so gracious, on her season. articulate, Lovely everything that she wasn't on her season. Yeah. 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 
and I thought she did such a good job. She danced the house down boots. Ooh. Yeah. You know, but uh, but still. Yeah. Hmm? Well, adorable. I I will say that uh, for all stars, like I'm yeah. not a big fan of the queens voting each other out aspect. I'm not a big fan of the lip sync assassin aspect. But this season, it all worked. I don't even like Snatch Game of Love, and Snatch Game of Love is weird. This season, it yeah, wasn't no, good. It wasn't. I I'm sorry that Fortune Feimster was on at all. If her whole thing was to not pick anybody, like you gotta pick someone. For pick somebody. Sure. And poor Raja really got shafted. Because mm. I thought she had won her particular yeah reason yeah there. well but it was it was her face was just like when she found out nothing she's like what everyone wins in a threesome because it was her uh, Pandora boxes Samantha St- well uh, Kim Cattrall and Eureka as divine mm-hmm. and because we could see them I would definitely have said Eureka would have won that because she just embodied the whole thing beautifully. Mm-hmm. But listening, and even though Raja got a lot of help from Rue about yeah. doing that uh, Snatch Game, she was so funny. She that was, was so funny. funny. Um, but funny, but now we're talking about the finale. Now, what did what did uh, what did we think of the finale as a whole? Just as a finale, I thought it was excellent. Yeah. I, I loved it. it. I loved it. I loved the dance number. And I have to say, these these dance numbers. I'm so impressed that it gets done in 24 hours. All the choreography, yeah. writing the lyrics, the production value, everything else that's going on. Their nerves, they must be so tired, exhausted, but also excited. And they're so close, so they're pumped, too. Like, it's like, get through this and you're in, you know? Yeah. It's a lot. Uh, you know, my favorite part of the finale? No baby pictures. I cannot oh, stand right. the baby pictures. Because some of these kids are, are growing up, like Aquaria, growing up in much more gay-positive environments, much more supportive parents, uh, school systems that don't support bullying. So for me, it's like, well, what, what, what did they overcome as much as like we all? Because I was not a good mother. Terrible mother. That's why they wear so much makeup to hide the bruising. <laughs> now we had our top four. What did you think of uh, Trinity K. Bonet not making top four? TKB is one of those queens that I liked better on her All-Star yeah. season. So yeah. I was really yeah. cheering her on. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, even when she was being Eeyore. And, like, and then her teeth. But at least, out. you know, the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love TKB. Yeah. I was, uh, I would have been thrilled if she'd been in the finale, but I yeah. don't know who I would have yeah. replaced. I'm going to go out on a very controversial limb here Ooh. and say I would have kicked Kylie out. And the reason of this, and I'm not disparaging... I know, don't stand too close. Just in case the lightning... I don't want the lightning to... Not again. You couldn't take a third hit. I, I couldn't. I, could, I can still taste it in my back teeth. I still can. Like you have back you teeth. Can't, no, I got them removed for political reasons. <laughs> but here's the thing. When they did the... Um, uh the runway uh prior to that where it became top four and she had the fashion fail oops i did it again yes. fashion fails you didn't like her wig well her wig was awful that red wig like first of all it wasn't on her head straight if that was asymmetrical one side needed to be cut up a lot higher than the other because they were just off by a little bit mm-hmm. it needed to be more specific but also her runway for that was not Great. Th- it was like the only thing that was a fashion fail was that it was a fast food restaurant uniform, yeah. not not yeah. that there was anything wrong with the outfit. It didn't feel like it fit the. And the as a, un- a fast food uniform, it should have ketchup and mustard stains on it. So I didn't yeah. see anything wrong with what was going on and there. And she should have had ketchup and mustard stains yeah. on her. Yeah. yeah. I kind of felt like she and Raja had the most growth this season. Yeah. Um, but it, when we when they were in doing the final um, evaluation or discussion. Yeah. When Michelle said, "You know, you know, you did so well in American Horror Story," I was like, "Well, she, did she? wasn't." Do you think she should have won that? Her. Do you think she should have? No. Who do you know think, who you think should have won that? Oh, you don't. But, oh. Um, but I remember when she won, I was like, mm, "That's yeah. uh, well, okay." He took the notes. Yeah. And yeah. she applied the notes, but she sure. needed. There was a lot of notes. There was the lot. Yeah. Like it's it's great when someone can follow the direction, but you need to be mostly there and i think that was my, like I, I loved kylie this season but i loved I found... her too i was so glad to get to know her and to to yeah. be introduced to her this way but 
Like not once did Michelle say you're relying on that body. And by the third skimpy little, like that goth outfit that was gorgeous on her, but was literally just latex straps holding yeah. a center panel in. Yeah. Stunning. But at the same time, it's like. Body, yaddy, yaddy. But if you really? It, like, wants it. sure. But lots of people have body, yaddy, yaddy, and they got called out on. Yeah. So. I just felt there was like, like a snatch game of love. I thought she was so funny. So but... funny. I wish she'd like smiled more. A, smile more. Just yeah. missing that little Dolly bit. Parton smiles more. Because it felt all. like she was being funny yeah. by and, accident. And if she could have giggled like while Wilma? she was talking. Like she didn't, know, she didn't realize that <laughs> why what she's saying is funny. So there was just that little bit of a disconnect there. Like you're just like accidentally funny. Right? You were an accident. I you're going to need a bottle and of scotch hilarious. at the end of this. <laughs> the bottom line is Kylie had a great season. Regardless if she won or lost, she already won before that season this season was over she did yeah, such a great was job amazing. like yeah. really I, you could tell yeah. something really transformative for her yeah took to place yeah. yeah i went into this season hoping for ginger minge to win she was my top oh, win I was, uh, ginger Everybody eureka was. those were and my, then those were my as we start as we were watching it because i was i was a huge fan of raja her season even though it was hard to be but I really liked her. I thought she was so beautiful and I thought she had potential. Even at the reunion where she brought the wig she took and whipped it on the stage. Like, just very like, okay, you don't want friends. Okay, I get it. That's fine. No one's asking you to be a friend. But I was so impressed by her this season. Every time yeah. she hit that runway, she was better. Every challenge, she was good. She just seemed to be much more aware of the fact that she wasn't the only person in the room. And I love that about her. It really, it really impressed me. And that's why I went from really voting for Ginger Minge out of the gate to at the end there, I was like hoping if anyone is going to steal this out from under uh, the clear front runner, uh, it, it, I wish that it had been Raja. I think Raja took a lot of raw talent. Like yeah. even back in her season when she was upset and she was angry, that's when sometimes someone has so much going on yeah. they don't know what to do yeah. with them, right? Yeah, and this absolutely. Time, maturity... She took a breath. She took a beat. She got it done. She was supportive of the other. Yep. She uh, focused candidates. on herself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she was never really negative. And she's hilarious. So funny. Yeah. You know, she her her confessionals were reading it right. So funny. Well, I think you she know. this season was able to just kind of relax and do her thing. Like, yeah. Be like, yeah. okay, I'm just yeah. gonna I'm gonna do my thing, and if you like me, fantastic. And if you don't, well. You're stupid. Yeah, I thought they're... she was great. I, yeah. I really loved her yeah. compared to her original yeah. season. Eureka did an excellent job. She didn't do anything I didn't expect her to do. There was no surprises from Eureka. Her runways were stunning. Mm -hmm. I know Amazing. I heard a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, she's got the We're Here money, the HBO money for these things. And in fact, some I read, read somewhere Go where some... Go get your money then. Yeah, yeah. What's stopping anyone Learn from having an HBO show? show? Yeah, but different. the other thing was... We've all got HBO shows. You've just never heard of them. No, yours is just BO. We just BO. don't have the HBO money. It's just BO. <laughs> it's just the BO oh. show. Move over. It's too close. But both Raja and Eureka kind of flew under the radar. Yes. There was always someone else who was going to, who was seemed to be in the line of fire for that week. Well, like yeah. even that yeah. acting challenge, I thought that Trinity K. Bonet did an excellent job working off of Raja's bad voice choice. And <laughs> Eureka, Ooh, Eureka, Eureka a lot of that well, voice. was she, I thought, he's like, are you biggest fan? Is, can you do it differently? Oh yeah, sure. Are you biggest fan? <laughs> okay. But again, the final product, it came yeah. across. Yeah, no, she, she, I think Eureka delivers. So don't get me wrong. Yeah. I love Eureka. I just didn't expect her to win ever. So uh, when, even when she came back, it was like, okay, that's good. Because th they're probably not going to pick her to win. Now, let's talk about this episode. They had uh, the uh, they had to write the song with Rue. Yeah. What did we think of the song? Yeah, I just think a country song from RuPaul is very out of left field. I don't... I liked it. It sounded very Lil Nas X yeah. to me. That yeah. Kinda, yeah. Uh, it certainly looked at the way they shot it. That set was stunning. Those yeah. naked cowboys were gorgeous. Well, I like the naked cowboys. Yeah, what about Tanya Tucker? The having her after her first grant. I can't believe Tanya Tucker has been making music since she was 13. She's 109. Yes. Uh, and this year was her first year winning a Grammy? And you wow. Know, I looked her up afterwards. Yep. And she basically, since the age of 13. Yeah. It seems like she's released an album almost every day year. That's been like, a top hit. Like amazing. that's been a hit, like popular. And some of them are still being played. I couldn't couldn't name a Tanya Tucker song. Delta Dawn? No. Sing uh, it. 
Delta Down. Stop singing it. <laughs> I hate both of you. Sorry, Tanya, on both accounts. <laughs> What's that flower? You I, just thought, I thought she was a weird choice. I think she's the exact right choice because so. uh, her saying never give up, winning an, a, a Grammy in her hundreds. <laughs> It's also, I don't know how old she is. The, what is she, 50, 60? I don't know. Country music is a huge uh, group in the United States, yeah. right? Like it's it's huge. Row kind of, a room kind of appealing to that, right? Yeah. So, well, it's a bit um, of a pander for sure. Yeah. And they're all from the South, weren't they? All four all of those four queens yeah, from, yeah. The from the South. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the song was picked up. Yeah. Then. And then, of course, um, so I, I enjoyed the Tanya Tucker moment just myself. I just thought that was fun. I, I liked her saying to the queens, I'm the prime example of don't give up. Who do you think had the best lyrics? I thought Kylie's did the song the best. I thought it was like everyone being like, I'm not, I'm not going to do the typical thing. I'm not going to do the typical thing. I'm not. And she was the only one who was like, well, I'm going to use my twang. Yeah. So then she ended up standing out and everyone else kind of melded together. Right. And, you know, I thought Raja stood, stood out. I really was impressed Raja by that. Was on, she was on fire. I yeah. think if Raja had one more week, she might have taken it. Yeah, you think yeah. she was just she just hadn't yeah, percolated think she fast just enough. Peaked a little too late. Yeah. yeah, I also really uh, was impressed with Ginger Minge bringing sexy back because she's always had a problem being sexy, and I thought she she did a good. Mind you, those cowboys. Oh, well, it's nice because in her in Ginger's uh, lip sync, so it's yeah. always very much making fun of herself, yeah. making fun yeah. of the yeah. lyrics, making fun of whoever, yeah. whoever's there. So it's nice when she has to do choreography. Yeah. And has to like play it straight. You're like, come, yeah. I, never I also loved get her outfit. I thought her outfit was good. Yeah. Um, I thought she looked pretty... great all season, actually. Yeah. I love Gorge. her wigs. Yeah. She knows yeah. her body. She knows what she wants to well, do. Well, I don't know. Yeah. There were a couple things Great that she, forward. like that frog outfit that she walked into the workroom in. I don't understand what that was all about. Because she's a glamour toad. Yeah, I do understand <laughs> that. But that there was nothing glamorous or toady about her outfit. She's a I glamour frog. Exactly. Warts and all. Yeah. What did we think of everybody's? lunch with rue in the show that was another i don't mind that part the yeah. tic tacs are getting a little but it's yeah. it's old. unnecessary i don't need to hear it yeah. there's there's this there's this yeah. moment in rupaul's trajectory with the show where she's become a life coach it's a little bit smelling and it's a little, little yeah it's a it's, little bit like mm, mm, mm. yeah it's a little bad it's like being trapped in a small room with wilma it's a little that. It's a little. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's very dainty. Well, I, I, it's all about the ambush. I thought I was gonna get knocked. It's up. all about the ambush. At least part of my hair. I thought Michelle was very quiet during it. I'm the, the sure it's in her contract. Shut it. More shut it. Shut it. Just shut it, this Michelle. Whole, this whole last. Episode. Well, she seems to be one of those people for me who's really become aware of the backlash of the fandom. And so she's not as judgy and she's not as critical. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, because... I'm glad I don't pay any attention. I, I never know who hates who. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't go on the socials. Yeah. I don't care what people yeah. are fighting about online. So it's always yeah. a little heartbreaking when yeah. I hear, like, the hate that Raja got or that people yeah. don't like Michelle. She's a judge. She's supposed to judge It's her you. job. It's the entire yeah. point of being there. It's yeah. the entire point of these queens being there. It's, they're good. Even if they're perfect, they have to judge them. They have to find something to nip i also like these people taking so much time and energy yes. out of their day to vomit into the internet yeah when the people they're vomiting about couldn't care less they're spending money they're laughing they're naked on a beach they're, they're not looking probably at probably not even controlling their own social yeah. media yeah. no no they've got somebody else who weeds all that crap out for them yeah. i want the highlights yeah. the 10 best well there's 30 i just want the 10 just the 10 so we we the performance was good we we picked the but what about the runway the last runway the last eureka one, came out in that air tape purple fantasy i love the eureka. i loved eureka's outfit a, a lot of her outfits i find are, are following the same silhouette but i also yeah. love that silhouette. Yeah. they're jumpers gorgeous. they're mostly yeah. all like jumps like yeah. like track suits or jumpsuits or the something like a was all, it was good she brought well, big drama and she's larger than life to begin with so for her to be demure on any level would be counterproductive mm, so yeah. to come out like i wish personally that she had more pink mink tails on her arms mm. you know what i mean and yes. i also think where the skirt line that purple skirt line was right at her hip i wish it had been up just a little higher 
so it looked like it was sitting on her hip line. Mm. Th- mm. Neither here nor there. This is just me being, I'm a huge Arte fan, so I know how he would have designed it, and it wouldn't have been like that. But it was, like, right away there, there's there's the gauntlet thrown down. Follow that, bitches, is what that outfit's. What? 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 We don't know who Arte is. He's a design- I'm just going to show you a picture of Arte. This is, this is their Tay. Don't put, it the hounds. Don't put it over Walk my Don't put it over my hounds. Why would you put it all the way? Here's their Tay with the mink tails. It's all oh, very, very Art Deco, Tay. very fabulous. I get it. And you knew that from seeing this dress? Yes. Oh, that's very it's good. classic. It's classic Air Tay. Well, that's been around. She's that's much older than we are. Uh, I thought everyone looked great, too. I love Ginger Minj. I thought she looked fat. It was a really clever play yeah. on her silhouette. Yeah, that's yeah, the right. classic Ginger Minj silhouette modern. I loved I loved um Rajas. I mean with the big hair oh, and yes. oh, stunning. The only outfit I did not like for this was Kylie's. Now from the waist up, it was a beautiful Americana mm-hmm. dress, but the short skirt looked like it had been pinned on as an afterthought. I wish that it had been to the floor, hemmed perfectly and it had like purpose like uh, like mm. it was meant to be there but that skirt and again i'm pre- prefacing that by this by saying she was her skin couldn't have looked better she was stunning but i just thought of the four queens it was like that's mm-hmm. not you know how when they yeah. say your best drag for the final runway and then somebody comes out and you're like that's your best that's drag your best I, that was that for me i was like i don't know it just seemed a little costume shoppy mm. for me but but with this uh, finale, they, they had to lip sync one more time. And what do we think of them lip syncing one at a time? Even though they edit it together, so it's one edit. But them lip syncing one on one, not, not, I mean, just one alone, not against all th- four. I think for me, we had just watched a whole week of lip sync with Silky, yeah. right? And I kind of like the quick edit yeah. of it. Yeah. Having said that, there's usually very little I remember about yeah. it. Like, I don't yeah. remember oh, is that much right? about the lip sync. My favorite moment of that lip sync was poor Miss Kylie tripping on her Ooh. dress and turning it out. The fact that she was able to just go into a somersault yeah. Yeah. and pose. Like, I'm meant to do this. Well, even... I might Because there was nothing was... about that that said she meant to. It was clearly a folk... Like, she's tripping. Ooh. Ooh, she queen down, it. queen down, and she saved it. That right there, give give her a crown. It was so give smooth, her though. A crown. If they hadn't it was... slowed it down yeah. to create some drama, no. I mm. might not even have noticed. No, that. I was very impressed with that. I mean, that's that's um, down to Kylie's gymnastics background, like just mm-hmm. being in touch with her body well enough to take the the momentum of what's happening and and make it something just it just oh God. i'd still be there i'd still be there spread eagle then unconscious yeah oh. and it's over then it was down to the final announcement were you surprised kylie won no no no, no. I, I thought it could have been uh, this was one that i was like this could be yeah. anyone's game i was shocked i was shocked that kylie won and not again because i don't think she did a good job or anything i just was more impressed by raja there was even a part of me where I kind of thought, is there going to be another tie? Will it be Kylie and Raja? Uh, I'm glad there wasn't because I hate a tie. Pick one. Pick a winner. I don't care who the winner is. Pick one. Um, I'm sorry that Ginger didn't win because she has been there three times. But on another level, Ginger's won already. Like she won... Okay. What did she win? Sixty, seventy thousand dollars. In like one episode, she won fifty grand. Yeah, yeah, in one episode, she gave five grand uh, to Pandora. Well, two fifty, uh, twenty five hundred to Pandora and Math Jen. Math is hard. Yeah. Well, I thought it was between Ginger and Kylie. Oh, you Maybe did. The final yeah. two. Yeah. For me. Yeah. So. This is what makes a good season for me. I was so pleased with the season because I couldn't predict a winner right to the end. I didn't expect Silky Nutmeg Ganache to be that fabulous in the no, game within a no. game. No, she won I, me over. Yeah, I didn't expect to love Raja half as much. I, I wanted to, but I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't putting any pressure on her Little to be... Aubergine princess. Ooh! I, I think that this season will bring a lot of people back to the fold. So, 
that's another all stars down we've got season 14 in the works oh, God. we've got drag race italia in the italia. works Italia. yeah Ooh, they haven't got lots a, of ladies a start. with mustache they haven't got a start date but it's apparently coming uh, we've got Drag Race UK 3 coming Ooh, uh, this it. month, uh, in a week or two. Uh, we've got Holland Season 2 Holland. happening. Have you watched any of Holland? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. 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 Much better improved than Season 1, for sure. Um, When's and, Canada coming? We know. Oh, mm-hmm. In two years, three years. <laughs> whenever they, I'm sure they filmed You know how Canada done. is. You know how Canada is. They're not rushing to get that on TV. Because they know everyone will watch it. They just put out on on crave was it or it's coming uh, the drag race canada reunion a year and a half after the show like oh gosh they didn't invite us no they no. must not have enjoyed our commentary on no. the final episode <laughs> <laughs> well thank you dears for joining me for the all-star six finale review uh, a little different thank yeah you. i'm so i'm so glad that you're not dead and magnolia maggie bush magnolia sugar bush thank so you so much here. for joining Thank you so much for having me. I hope we do it again. Oh, well, we have to because you still have so much to learn about me. <laughs> and until the next episode of whatever Drag Race review I'm reviewing, it's me. Mwah. Thank you, girls. Thank you. you know, yeah. So what do we like about them? Are we still loving the nails? Uh, they're creepy, but I have you tried to pick your nose yet or scratch? It's no, but I really want to scratch a bitch's eyes. But I keep feeling like they're going to like rip my nail off or something. Well, you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Call me and let me know how that goes. <laughs> don't do it here. I don't want to see it. So, much. so you, 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 guys, you guys didn't know there was an Italian drag race Italian? No. Oh. Are you excited that there might be a drag race Canada coming soon? Yeah, for sure. I'd like yeah. to root for the home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially because yeah. you may know some of the things. Right? Yeah, I'm I'm so excited about uh, UK three. But the thing yeah. about UK three, the oldest person on that cast is thirty five. Gross. Like everyone's young, and two of the queens are nineteen. Oh, gross. And, and that always worries me. There's because... still wet. There's still the amniotic fluid on them. Yeah. Barf. It's been so long since I've sat next. To you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> like we're related. Yeah. <laughs>